had a little birthday party not so long ago. It was fabulous. Great parties like this don't just have them by themselves, you know. You gotta plan them. That's right, you've gotta make lots of lists. Parties are all about lists, and I love my lists. You all know that. First, I wrote my guest list, and then I started on the other important ones. And finally, I made the list of lists. <laughs> Here's a pro tip for you. Make a copy of your epic list of lists, because you never know what might happen to it in the planning stages. I love colors, so choosing a theme for the party was pretty fun. Pinterest was a great source of inspiration. I chose to have a rainbow party. I knew my friends would love it too. Next, I made my decorations list. I wanted balloons, garlands, bunting, and fairy lights. When in doubt, add glitter to everything. The cake choice was pretty obvious once I decided on the color theme. I went with the oh-so-pretty rainbow cake. Then comes a list of snacks and drinks. The yummy list! I cut up colorful fruit and veggies into small cubes and put them on skewers for snacks. Pretty and healthy. You guys should try my super special lemonade. Just take lemonade, add some blueberries and strawberries, and there you go! Magic rainbow lemonade! Psst, I had candy too. For balance, obviously, and deliciousness. I bet you can imagine that the candy list was long. For a good party, you have to have a great music playlist. I love to sing and dance, so this was a fun list to make. Okay now, let's get to work. There is no time to waste. We have so much to prepare and people will be here soon. Ben, you're in charge of decorations. Ginger, you're the cake boss. Tom, can you prepare the party music? And Hank, take care of the snacks. See how easy it is to have an awesome party when you have lists and lists of lists? Not to mention willing volunteers. <laughs> oh, I love lists, but I totally love my friends more. And at the end of the day, my party was great because of all my lovely friends and their amazing help. You didn't think that party magic came from lists alone, did you? <laughs> well, now I think I should start planning next year's birthday party. Maybe a tropical theme. What's the best kind of party? A sleepover party! <laughs> Why is it the best? Well, let me tell you. You don't need to go out. Imagine rain, snow, a lazy day, or the worst, a bad hair day. You only do what you like. You get to spend time with your besties and stay up really, really late. And the best thing in the entire world, you get to spend the whole evening in your PJs. Or even better, onesie time! Mmm, so snuggly. If it's a birthday party or some special event, you can all be in matching PJs. Picture perfect for Instagram. Or plan a fun night and wear different crazy onesies. Okay, let's start with the essentials. Like food. You know my preference is eating healthy. With chocolate on top. <laughs> Next, decorate the room so you feel super snuggly and cozy. Pile up tons of pillows and blankets. You don't need a big bed for it. Use your imagination. And the floor. <laughs> Make a fort out of blankets and pillows. Find Christmas fairy lights and balloons. Ooh, and a good movie is so essential. It's okay to shed a tear or two at tragic romantic stories, but even better to scream and hide under the blankets with scary horror movies. Ah! So that's the basics. But you can easily glam the party up. Have a pamper spa night with all the face masks, nail painting, fashion magazines, and girly chit chat. Or be creative in other ways. Try some of the DIYs you always wanted to try. If you want to be more active, or if you're in a crazy total party mood, karaoke or twister. And my fave one, a pillow fight. Crazy times. Ooh, and if you're in a prank mood, prank calls can be such a good laugh. Just make sure you don't go overboard and hurt someone. Uh, Stacy from Green Marmot Bakery calling. Is this Tom? <laughs> Got him. Rainy days can sometimes drag you down a bit, but they have a brighter side too. Are you ready? My first tip, and one of the best, is to start with pancakes. Mmm, everything's better with pancakes. And who doesn't like them? What's your favorite kind? Let me know in the comments below. When the sun is shining, it just feels wrong to be a couch potato and watch movies. But on a rainy day, ooh, binge watch a series or rewatch your favorite rom-com for the 548th time. 
Or if you're on the brave side, have a scary movie marathon. <laughs> That's definitely not my cup of tea. Invite friends over for a round of board games. My friends love it, along with endless discussions about what to play. Remember the video I made about scrapbooking? Well, rainy days are just perfect for making them, or at least browsing them. You can even <clears throat> organize something. Wardrobe, makeup, school supplies, the list is endless. Okay, I get it, it's not one of the most fun ideas, but it's an idea. I have a romantic idea too. Have a picnic inside, OMG. And for the times when you feel a little extra adventurous, put on your rain boots, grab an umbrella, and go outside. And not just for the fresh air. Let's go puddle jumping. Ooh, we can sing too. I love this famous quote from Vivian Green. Life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It's about learning to dance in the rain. On the other hand, sometimes it's nice to just sit by the window with a cup of tea and think about everything. Or nothing at all. You see, sometimes the cold, rainy days can be absolutely the best days ever. Well, my little kitties, hope this gives you some ideas worth trying. And not just for rainy days. And I saved one waterproof idea for last, my Talking Angela app. You can get some cute outfit or makeup ideas or just have fun playing loads of mini games. See you next time.